Hey guys, in this video, we'll quickly be creating a water animation, or you can say uh, some liquid in a glass. So let's just get into it. Well, first of all, what you need to do is you need to create the waves inside the glass. And uh, you can do that by, let's say, drawing a line. So I've drawn a line here. And as you can see, after I've drawn it, there's a point here. So I'm just going to create a point from the midpoint. I'm going to press escape because I don't want to link this to anything. I'm going to create another point on the midpoint here, press escape, another point here and press escape. What I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, remove this node that I previously created in the middle because I created that so that my points that are sitting here and here actually are equal from the edges. So I'm just going to uh, move them to the bottom. And also you have to actually figure out like just to make it equal and balanced, like how much you're actually moving it to the bottom. So I'm going to press shift 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I think that should be fine. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I think 14 would be fine. So 1, 2, 3, 4. I think this should be okay. I'm going to press the uh, command key and click here, click here. So here we have our first wave. Now we probably want to create like we can obviously create how many waves we want in terms of the animation. But I think just to be on the safe side, I think that's one. And let's just create one more. So here we have our three waves. I'm just going to uh, select all of them and press like shift E that's going to combine them in a single uh, node. Let's just go ahead and actually draw uh, a shape around them. So here we have a shape. Now we can give it a fill. I'm just going to give it red for now and we can make it slightly less red or something along those lines. So here we have our shape. What we want to do now is we actually want to create a rectangle because we want to create a glass. I want to create a rectangle. Let, let me just give it a reduced opacity. And we want to make this rectangle or the edges of the rectangle sit on the edges of a singular curve. So here's it's starting here. And then we want to ideally end it here. I think this should be fine. Let, let me just correct it slightly. Yeah. So I think this should be fine. Now, in order for a glass to be created, we know that a glass is usually slightly narrower on the at, at the bottom. So I'm just going to go ahead here and one, two, three, four, five, six. Actually, that's going to take too much. So I'm just going to reduce this shape just to make it slightly smaller. I think this should be fine. And now I'm going to make this glass smaller. One, two, three, four, five, even before that. Sorry. Even before that, let's just go ahead and actually drag our line here. So we know where do we actually want to intersect the glass. So we want to intersect it here. And so it's currently not aligned. Let me just align it again. So now it's aligned. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So similarly here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I think this curve uh, or this narrower portion at the bottom looks fine. Now, obviously, we want to do the same thing is that we want to increase the glass so that the edges of the glass actually intersect the curve and this line that I've created here. So right now it doesn't. And I think this should this is probably close. Similarly, I think let's just move it slightly to the left. Yeah, I think this is fine now. Let's just go ahead and actually um, move this vector or this curve above the glass duplicate the glass again and sorry not this this is in the glass this is the actual wave let me just call it wave duplicate this glass select the wave and mask it so as you can see now the wave is actually masked let me just call it well actually mask group is fine this is the glass that's visible and this is the mask mask shape i'm just going to lock it because i don't want to select it again and again uh, and let's just go ahead and group this as well. So this is our glass that we see now. And this is a container that I'm going to place it inside of. Let's just go ahead and now place it inside this container. We can obviously press the K key to make it smaller. Let's just go ahead and do that. I also definitely want to unlock this. Now let's just go ahead and actually make it smaller. So here we have our glass, make it even more smaller. And this probably looks fine. I also want to again lock it again because I don't want to play around with that. Probably increase the opacity of this of, of the glass and probably make it white. Similarly, let's just go here and uh, increase the opacity of this mask as well. So we get a really solid color and 
we can make this slightly less red and most of you from Pakistan or India probably know Ruabza so I'm probably doing something similar like uh, a glass of Ruabza which is a drink here and this is going to be our back wave or probably like yeah let's just make it a back back wave and similarly we're going to duplicate this so here's the wave duplicated we want to make it the front wave uh, front wave the front wave usually is lighter than the back wave so i'm i think i think i like this color on the front so i'm going to make the back wave slightly darker so now what we're going to do is we want to make an eight here so as you can see now we have sort of an eight let's just make it something like this so the wave is going to begin from here and it is going to end I think this this probably looks fine the glass looks fine we can obviously give a gradient on the glass as well so that it looks good I'm going to go ahead I'm going to say linear make it white from the above sorry this is the bottom also make it probably white from the bottom and from the above let's just make it slightly bluish so I'm going to change this hue to a blue color and make it slightly blue yeah I think this is fine okay so here we have our glass I also want to go ahead and make the top slightly rounded so make it 20 so I think this looks good we can also make the bottom slightly rounded make it 20 but as you can see we can't see it because the shape uh, the mask shape needs to be 20 from the bottom as well so let's just go ahead and do that so now here we have our glass I'm going to make another frame here and what I'm going to say is after I after a particular delay so I want this animation to start immediately so I'm going to say after zero or one milliseconds um, I want to actually smart animate this and the animation should run for let's say uh, two seconds what I want to do now is I want to I want to move this particular wave to the left and I want it to be in its position similar to what it is in the in the in the first frame so let's just go ahead and move it as much as we can I think probably this should be fine let's just go ahead and see how that looks so I think this is fine and similarly on this wave what we want to do is we actually want to move it to I think this is fine it actually needs to move uh, it's in its position it actually needs to move to the left here in the initial frame because this this the front wave is actually going to move from left uh, to right and this back wave should move from right to left so let's just go ahead and actually make it like this let's see if it looks good I think it looks good now let's just see how that looks see if our glasses I think these looks look fine I'm going to refresh it and here we have our animation refresh again here we have our animation what we basically now want to do is we want to move or point this last frame back to the first frame and we're going to say after a delay of zero seconds I want you to instantly go back and now let's say if I refresh it's animating automatically and here's basically how you create a glass effect or like a water effect in a glass and obviously we can style it we can have something in there we can have bubbles as well but and let me just go ahead and actually add a bubble to see how that looks so and we ideally want it to be a red bubble so let's just go ahead and do that I'm gonna call it a bubble I am gonna create another shape inside of it probably bubbles have hole in them so I'm gonna subtract it I am gonna make this bubble slightly reduced in opacity so let's just go ahead and make the opacity slightly lighter here and let's say this bubble starts from here and I'm gonna say this is bubble one I'm gonna go here I'm gonna place it here and I am gonna say that it actually goes out of the container so what I obviously want to do is I want to grab this bubble and actually move it into the mask so it, it's hidden similarly I want to go here and uh, hide it under the mask as well now let's just refresh and as you can see we have the bubble going up and instead of actually it actually going up um, speeding up when it's going up like let's actually make it a instead of let's say making it smart animate and ease in and out let's just make it linear so it's just flowing linearly something like this we can also do that so what we also want is this bubble to be hidden by default so let's just go ahead and actually move it here somewhere here but here's basically how you animate bubbles so I can actually just go ahead and actually create another bubble here 
press K, make it even more smaller. And similarly, just go here to the mask shape and place the bubble two here. Uh, here, and let's just go ahead and refresh the bubble two is probably gonna be in a slightly different position. So let's just go ahead and move it to the top. And here we have these two bubbles coming from the glass. And this is basically how you can create a watery animation, though in the drink that I've created here, which is Ruabza, like you don't have bubbles that much, but yeah, that's how you go about doing that. Do subscribe, do hit the bell icon, do let me know if you need anything else. But other than that, that's how you create a water animation. Take care.